Okay, so you put all the information in and 3S takes you to the individual training control center. Now this is mid-season week 9, for example, and you can see that there's uh, certain sets that 3S is offering as a suggestion to make sure that the individual is hitting the energy zone requirements for that phase in the season and that day in the season. So energy zones, if we go over here to the customization tools on the left hand side, you can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. I'm going to click on energy zones real quick. You can see that we have the USA swimming energy zones and the uh, Russian energy zones uh, to the right of that. And there's a description of all the different zones that are very scientific. But if you just want to see the plain English version of each one of the energy zones, you can click this button. And you can get an understanding of each one of the energy zones, what they're about, what the time limits are. So if you're going to do a set or repeats, you want to make sure that you're not exceeding or, or not hitting uh, these things as well. So you want to make sure if you're doing a, a zone 2 set, you design it so there's 15 to 30 minutes of actual work uh, with that set. Uh, if you do a little too little or if you go over that, then you're probably hitting another energy zone. But these energy zones are the building blocks of each one of the sets that you have, which helps build your day, which is part of the plan for the entire seasonal phase. So with a little bit better understanding of the energy zones, you can then say, all right, um, here we are at the training control center. This is what 3S is suggesting for this day. But how is that day being suggested? What is the... Um, the underpinning behind that that's doing that and that's in the uh, seasonal planning and that's what we'll talk about next.